And welcome back to the long run where we're playing the longest journey. That's not going to get confusing to say. Uh, so last time we um, we got a little bit of set dressing on what's going on here. So we are an aspiring art student. Uh, we want to attend uh, VAVA, which is the Venice Academy of Visual Arts. By the way, this is us. April. It's kind of unsettling to be so aware of myself all the time. I like the snark on this woman. I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun. Um, so right now, what we need to do is go over to where this play is happening. But this is going to require us to take the subway, which is going to require us to have money. I only have a few bucks left on my card. I gotta remember to get paid today. Which brings us to our current puzzle. This guy doesn't want to pay us unless we can show him a uh, timesheet. So we gotta figure out where that is. And uh, it's probably somewhere in our apartment. Well, let's go over there. Yeah, I'm really glad that there is an option to run because, like, holy crap. Money in this economy? Yeah, this economy definitely seems to uh, suck out loud. Looks like Fiona is uh, out and about somewhere. Uh, upstairs. I worry about the exhibition coming up in two weeks. This is the net result of my work. A pile of nothing. And it's not even a big pile of nothing. My on-again, off-again diary. We've had a turbulent relationship, her and I. Dear diary, note to self. Dreams of talking trees and dragons aside, it's still no excuse for talking to inanimate matter in the real world. So quit it. So it's not a voice diary? Or does voice activation cost extra? That seems to be a thing in this world. Also, why did it let us talk to the diary? It's a picture of me and my friends. Aha! Hey, it's my timesheet from the cafe. I completely forgot I put it in here. Good thing I found it, because I'm broke. I've been keeping a diary intermittently since I was five years old. Not the same one, of course. I started this one, I think, April of this year. <laughs> a picture of me and my friends, plus Zoidberg. It's a picture of Charlie, Emma, and me, in Florence Park. Marcus took it about a month ago, before it got real hot. It's a list of the hours I worked this past week at the cafe. Books. I don't read much, but I believe it's important to maintain an intellectual facade. I mean, if you're going to have an intellectual facade based on books, you should probably at the very least have a bookshelf. That's just me, though. I have a regular shelf, which I suppose if you put the books on there, it can technically be a bookshelf. Um, anyway, we, we have our timesheet. Let's go turn that in. I feel like that animation lasted a little longer than it needed to be. 
It's a pretty mural. It is. It's, it's a pretty mural. Yeah, we've established that. These skateboarding punks. A life in prison for their punkishness. Hey, Charlie. Alright, buddy. Bucko. Here's the damn sheet. Here you are, my timesheet. Don't say that word too loud, sweetheart. You're killing me. Let's see. I'm sorry, how much is in your bank account? What is this? Huh? No, 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 no. Did I sign this? What I thinking? So? At least it doesn't look like it's been forged. Uh, thanks. Thanks? Where's my money? Oh, you ain't getting it now. Next week, honey. I write down this amount in my ledger. Don't you worry your head from it. I need the money now, Stanley. Yeah, yeah, we all need money now. But that ain't gonna happen. Next week, I tell you. Forget that. I quit. You're quitting? You can't quit. You work for me. Nobody quits this job, honey. I can quit. And I'm quitting. I quit. Damn, woman. You know how hard it is to find people to take a crappy job like this one? I need you. Just as much as you need the money? All right. Jesus, I give you your damn money. What was it? Fifty bucks? Three hundred and seventy-five dollars, Stanley. Cash. Oh, sure. Cash. Three hundred... Are you sure? I pay you guys way too much. All right, give me your CC. Thank you, Stanley. Fine, sure. Whatever. Hey! Just, I mean it. You free tonight? Wanna pull a shift? Sandra, she out sick and I need a replacement pronto. How about it? Ah... Uh... I mean, I would like to say no. At the same time, it's like, uh... The 750 month covers rent in California. Was there a deflation there in the next couple centuries? I mean, that's long enough that they would have had, like, an economic reset at some point from all the inflation that was happening. No, sorry, I have plans. Anyway. Plans? Plans on a Friday? Mighty mana, what's the world come to? Get out from here. Leave me alone with my migraine and ulcer. Maybe it floated away or burned up. See, when you said floated away, my first thought was like, what, into the sky? Hmm. 
the, the floating island of California. Okay, so how does this work? Um, there's no cash card on the gate. No. Uh oh. Uh, I don't see anything else interactable here. Uh oh. How get ticket? I don't understand. Um. Oh, there we go. I'll get a weekly pass, just in case. Oh, it makes you get a weekly pass. I guess it's just so that we don't need to worry about um, paying for this again. I already pushed the button. Okay, well. Okay. Card goes into scanner. Then we get scanned. $15 subtracted from cash card. You are now free to travel on all Metroline subways for exactly one week. And remember, genetic forgery is a federal crime. Keep your genes clean. I'm sorry, Have a nice what? Day. Genetic forgery? What is this nonsense? Wash your jeans at least once a week. I mean, yeah, it mentioned that it genetically, genetically scans me, but like... What is genetic forgery? Sweet old ladies just ain't what they used to be. Can we trust that you're really April? The screen really is ubiquitous. There's no escape anywhere. It's like it's 1984. Okay, so... Bridge, East Venice. Gallery at Watertown Bridge. Okay, so if I click on this. Okay. Another victim of Amethyn. Amethyn, huh? Poor guys drugged out on Amethyn. They say the first motor function to suffer is always rhythm. The cleanest subway you've ever seen. Big sound from such a small box. Newport Transit Systems. Hello, sir. Sir! I'll just leave my ticket here then, shall I? Yes. Yes, I guess I'll do that. Slow day, I guess. Neat. <laughs> Cash register. Neat. Good talk. There's absolutely nothing out there. Nothing. Let's talk. I was oh, there's a city, an entire dude. world, even, but nothing. I guess this game doesn't let you talk to just randos. It's a pointy-edged swan. It's a short, nude creature with a snout. Very inspiring. 
Yes, I know I'm not an amethyst. I still got ry rhythm. Rhythm is a dancer. You can feel it in the air. Oh, there he is. Don't stand, don't stand so close to me. Back off, honey. Oh my goodness, please. Why do I have to click on your pants? For the life of me, I can't figure out why Cortez wants to meet me. Come to think of it, why do I want to meet him? About time you showed up. About time? I spent more than... Mira, this painting. Right here. Look. You brought me all the way down here to look at a painting? Yes, but there's more. Just look at it. It's nice work. It's very nice. But there's more to it than nice. Keep looking. I can't interact with it, just have to... What am I looking for? What do you see? You know, a painting of two... What? Yeah, I guess. Uh... I see an oil painting of two humans locked in an embrace. That's all you see? But there's so much more. Look. Look. Oh, thanks for dropping by, Tyrion. Wait, is this loss? I see a statement on loss. The guy, he's hugging a girl. And by all rights, he should be happy, but he's not. He's probably already mourning the loss of her, even though that's still somewhere in his future. Statements? Who cares about a statements? Tell me what you see. I see art. Art, yes. And okay, well, that, come on. Beyond art. So I was, I was too specific, and then I was not specific enough? What? Um. Illusion. Skill and imagination allow the artist to create an illusion, but that is only skin deep. Beneath the illusion, what else is there? Technique? Technique is what enables an artist to create art. Beyond technique, beyond artistry, what else is there? Truth? Truth. Exactly. A deeper truth. This painting, this particular work of art, speaks a deeper truth. It has a soul. How can a painting have a soul? It has a soul because it has an identity. It has a heart. The memory of this painting will survive beyond this moment. It will linger in your mind, become part of the tapestry of your subconscious. It has made a lasting impression on you, and you're not quite sure why. It's just a painting by some kid. It's not as if it's a Picasso or a Monet. Now you're arguing technique. Not every painting by Van Gogh or Michelangelo is real art either, although they all demonstrate great technique and, and craftsmanship. And the scribbled drawings of a five-year-old child are rarely technically impressive, but they may still have a soul. They may still be real art. So you're saying real art is not defined by the skill of the artist? Then what is art? If just anybody can create something more real than artists who've spent their entire lives developing their skills? Art is still the work of artists. And skill, craftsmanship, technique, those things are critical to the success of an artist's work. But alone, those things are merely pretense. For something to be real, to be truthful, the artist must transfer 
shift part of him or herself into the work to transcend the illusion and reach for the truth of art. And what is the truth of art? Who knows? I've been asking myself that question for years. Excuse me? You don't even know? Then what's all this about all the questions and lectures on truth and illusion? For that matter, why did you ask me to come down here in the first place? Because... Actually, you didn't even ask me to come down. I spent my entire afternoon traveling all over Venice, deciphering a cryptic message, spending money I don't have on a subway ticket, only to have to stand here and listen to... to... You saw something this afternoon. A waking dream, and you can't explain it. That's why you are here, isn't it? <laughs> Love having a deep philosophical conversation while a dude snores in the background. Uh, see a uh, lady with her with half her face covered by her hair. Yeah, that's that's what I was getting hung, hung up on too. Is like I wasn't really picking that up. Bruce is being snoozy. How the hell do you know these things? It's as plain as the day, Senorita Ryan. You're under a lot of stress. My point about art and truth is this, April. Some things look real, but are not. And other things may appear to be of no consequence at all, but are in fact invaluable. Like Warren's painting here. And your dreams. There is both truth and illusion in dreams, and in the images they create. The problem is in sorting the one from the other. You're telling me my dreams are true? I'm telling you there are things afoot, and that you need help in sorting the truth from the illusions. My help. Well, that figures. Good. I was hoping you'd understand. No. Actually, I didn't understand a single word. You talk about art, and truth, and dreams, and illusions, and I still don't understand what it all has to do with me. There are things happening, yes, and I came here because I thought, maybe you're crazy enough to believe me, to help me. I don't know, sort through the debris and come up with the plausible explanation. But no, you tell me my dreams might be true, that I need your help, and that there are things afoot. I mean, who says afoot? I've never heard anybody use the word before. There are things afoot. Está bien. I understand your reluctance to believe me, senorita. But I cannot convince you here, now. Meet me tomorrow. What? Meet me tomorrow, and I will tell you everything. Not again. No way. But you will. Because you are compelled to do so by your own curiosity. Because you are drawn to mystery. And because despite your skepticism, you believe I have the answer to all your questions, yes? No. No, I don't care. I just want to have a normal life. No nightmares, no visions, no strangers telling me that things are afoot. Comprende, amigo? Ay, Dios mío. Is that the time? I've got to run, Senorita Ryan. I'll see you tomorrow, then. I said... Goodbye. What? just happened I don't even know all I know for sure is that this is blinking now and also that this is clearly a painting of Lurch from the Adams family and this is Uncle Fester um, let's oh so now we get to uh... Let me get this. Oh, right, because we we actually got the uh, we actually got the diary, so now we can read through it. Also, twenty two oh nine. Okay, that's uh, establishing twenty two oh nine. I feel like it's worth reading through this, but like, it's a lot of reading.
And it doesn't look like there's anything else that we can discover. Or just said, oh, look at the time. It's time to go. There's Later, absolutely nerds. nothing out there. Nothing. Oh, there's a city, an entire world even. But nothing. Guy is facing us, the woman away. Yeah, exactly. East Venice is uh, back home, right? Yeah. Uh, so now what? Guess let's go back to the border house. I can do those plans you said you had. And my plan is to hang out with these two girls. That's Fiona, my landlady. She's all right. Mickey's not usually the sit in front of the screen type of gal. Unlike Fiona, she's always working on something around the house. I guess that's why they're such a great couple. They skated their last board. Have you been sitting here all day? Pretty much, darling. I feel like a vegetable. How was your day then? It's been a weird day. How so? Well, you know how some mornings you wake up, but you're not sure if you're really awake or if you're still just dreaming? I feel like that every morning, darling. A pot of black coffee cures that in a flash. That's how I've been feeling all day. Like I said, it's been a weird day. How was yours? Exceedingly ordinary. Almost depressingly so. I poked my head out of the door once for about a second, but thought better of it. What are you watching? Nothing special. We were thinking about watching a movie later, though. Yeah, which one? They have quite a few new releases out. Did you ever see Victory Hotel? No. Is it good? That's what they say. So we might catch that one. They finally ollied. To hell. Cake flip McTwi- uh, Cake flip Mi Oh my goodness. Cake flip McTwisted themselves. To death. Um. Can I ask you a few questions? Why, certainly, darling. About what? Where did you find my ring? Under the sofa, darling. It must have slipped off your finger while you were watching a movie or something. That's strange, because I've been keeping it in a box in my room. I rarely ever wear it, and I've never carried it around in my pocket. The classic gazelle spin. Into their graves. I... <clears throat> I just don't have a voice to be, like, both grave and, like, quiet. But I can still make it sound like this. Uh, what do you think of Cortez? What do you think of Cortez? I'm not sure what you mean, darling. Do you think he's a little creepy? Oh, he's harmless. That old hippie's been drugged up for 50 years, and he's not likely to come down any time soon. Mickey likes him, but I'm not a big fan. But what can I do? He just sits outside the building, smoking or reading a book. He doesn't harm anyone. How long has he been around? Oh, I don't know. A year, maybe? He just showed up one day, and he hasn't left since. He never leaves his spot? He sleeps and eats, obviously, and sometimes he goes to some revival cinema uptown. Says that second to reading, old movies are his greatest passion. What else can you tell me about Cortez? 
One word I wouldn't use to describe him is lucid. He's always on about some bollocks idea, and you'd never know from listening to him that he's got any sense at all. People say he's quite sharp, though, quite intelligent, well-read multilingual, and he's travelled all over the world, apparently, but still completely bonkers, if you ask me. A skateboard was coming from inside the house and hanging on the door handle was a skateboard. Tell me some more about the border house. What precisely do you want to know? Thanks for the information. <laughs> I'm glad I could help you out, darling. <laughs> Good talk. Thanks for your help, Fiona. I'll, I'll never get You're old. You're welcome, darling. I'll see you later, yeah? All right, darling. Except I'm not actually going anywhere. I'm going to talk to Mickey now. What's going on, Mickey? Well, the water's been fixed, so you can take a hot shower if you want. Guess I'm just gonna block the view. I smell that bad? No, I didn't mean that you. I just... You know, in case you wanted to take a warm shower, I, I just wanted you to... The water being hot, as it were. Thanks, Mickey. Yeah. That's quite the, um... Different personality. I heard you had a nightmare last night. Did she tell you that? She can't keep her mouth shut, can she? You can't, can you? As if your screaming wasn't enough to wake up the whole building. And so what if you're having a nightmare? You are human, you know, even though you'd like to think differently. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cause an argument. It's just that I had a nightmare as well. Good luck trying to get anything out of her. She's so very together, you know. There'll be no chink in her armor. She's the Iron Lady. Well, bollocks. Would you shut up, Fiona? I mean, for once, would you just shut up? Yes, I had a nightmare, and yes, it's none of your business. So don't try to make it your business. I wasn't trying to... to intrude. Fine. I just don't like talking about my dreams, yeah? I wasn't trying to cause drama. I don't know. What was wrong with the pipes? They're just old. Like all of Venice. They're really old. Twice a year, every year, I have to spend a half a day freezing my ass off down in the canal performing emergency surgery on the pipes. Not that I don't love doing it, especially when my so-called partner's curled up on the sofa watching soaps all day long. I'll talk to you later, Mickey. Yeah. Why don't you sit down and watch a movie with us, April? You know what? That sounds like an excellent idea. Okay, so apparently talking to the two of them was exactly what I needed to do. Oh, that was weird. Chapter 2, Through the Looking Glass. I've got to find Cortez and get him to explain what the hell's going on. Insane or not, he's the only person I can talk to about this. I kind of hate the fact that Cortez was right. We're going to be talking to him. 
A great way to start the weekend. I don't know. Maybe I'll do like a separate video that will show up on the YouTube channel or just read through the diary that we have uh, thus far. What? I got something on my face? Is my hair okay? What are you looking at? So what does the free access terminal even do anyway? Because like, its functions don't appear to be free at all. Hey Fiona. Nope. Anything interesting going on outside? Please tell me last night was a dream, April. I don't know what it was. I wish there was an explanation. But both you and Mickey, we all saw the same thing, didn't we? Not a dream, not a hallucination, but what? Weird things have been happening lately. I have noticed. This isn't the first time. What other weird things have happened lately? Little things, like movement in the corner of your eye that's gone when you turn your head. And noises, the kind you're not supposed to hear in the city. Animal noises. Wild animals. And once, this was very early in the morning, mind, a few days ago, I looked down into the canal and saw what looked like an underwater city. But as I looked at it, it dissolved into ripples of water. Scary. You're telling me, darling. I'm scared of cockroaches, for God's sake. What do you think this does to my nerves? Have you seen Cortez today? No, darling. I don't think he's around. Do you have any idea where Cortez is? Sorry, he could be anywhere. Well, he does enjoy going uptown to watch old movies in some revival cinema, but where that is, I wouldn't know. Who'd know? Perhaps Zack. Uh. He is, after all, the self-appointed film expert around here. You should talk to him, darling. Do I have Great. to? Great. Zack, my very best friend in the whole wide world. Could you tell Cortez I'm looking for him? Certainly, darling. If I happen to see him. Thanks. I have to get going. Take care of yourself out there, darling. Wild animals, raccoons, and birds in my city? Uh, yeah, let's just get this over with. I never imagined I'd be doing this in a million years. I like how I knocked once, but the sound ha the sound happened three times. Well, well, what do you know? The princess comes knocking after all. Don't get your hopes up. I think you're the one who's got her hopes up, babe. And you better hope I don't slam this door in your face. Just do me one favor first, okay? Well, give me a reason to, babe. A reason? Yeah. yeah. Good. Oh. Tonight. I uh, click accidentally. Sure. Tonight. I'll meet you at the... Pavilion, was it? And, uh, are you gonna put out? Uh... What? Well, I mean, if I'm gonna use my VIP passes and my pills, babe, I just gotta know if it'll be worth it or not. You on? We'll see, Zach. Uh, just don't do a Houdini and vanish on me, babe. If you're a no-show and I wait around for you all night, I end up looking like an asshole. And that wouldn't make me very happy. I'll be a good girl and yeah, show. Trust me, you look like an asshole anyway. Smart. So, uh, what do you want to know? 
Where can I find a theater that shows old movies? There are quite a few that do, but only one that runs optical stock. I figure that's the one you want, yeah? Why? Because that's where Cortez likes to hang out, and I'm guessing you're trying to hook up with him. No, no. I just need to do some research for a painting. Babe, I'm not a moron. I see you guys together. What are you, his lover? The shriveled old weirdos turn you on? What is it, his accent? His acute lack of fashion? It's not what you think. Whatever. Hey, like I give a shit? You're with me tonight. By tomorrow morning, I don't think you'll find that old creep so appealing anymore. So, where's Cortez? Uh, when he's not outside reading or whatever the hell he does, he's usually at the Mercury Theater. They show old movies on real celluloid stock through a projector. Like in the fucking Middle Ages. Where is this theater located? I don't remember the street it's on. It's been ages since I was there last. But you'll find it if you head out the East Gateway from Metro Circle. It's close to the Radio Power Building, and there are tons of adult stores in the area. Of course. Actually, if you're not too busy, you could pick up something for us to watch tonight. Something really filthy. Zack, I don't think... Hey, whatever. I was just kidding, yeah? Babe, you got a major bug up your ass. Get a fucking sense of humor, yeah? I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the tip and the info. Just be at the pavilion by ten, okay? I don't like waiting around for babies like you. Got a million better things to do. And it wouldn't be a good idea for you to ditch me. Not a good idea at all. Uh Was, was there another way to do that? Because, like, yeah, you, you got some screws loose, bud. Should we pick up Mace before this? Yeah, I, if that is an option. <laughs> Ah, that's a required path. Okay, well. Dual wielding tasers. April Ryan, you have got to get past yourself. I mean, I was trying to get past myself and into the subway, but, uh. You got in the way of the cursor there. I'm a fan of the fact that it only lets you go to the place that you absolutely need to get to, but like at the same time, it does cut down on, uh, you know, fumbling around for the correct answer. Let's exit. Let's also exit. Why is that one a different arrow than that one? That's just weird. Sex to see. Okay. Would you believe this is the first thing I saw when I came to Newport? Big city? Gotta love it. Liquid dreams. What does that say? Alien... Callus? Bubsy? Metro Circle, gloriously decadent. I hear Bingo's planning to buy the whole thing, convert it into a theme park or something. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, I don't know what kind of theme park comes from this kind of neighborhood. What are the themes for this park? Because, like... Those elevator tubes provide access to the mid and upper levels of Newport. I'd need proper ID before I could use them, of course. 
<laughs> the theme is Midgar. It's a police officer. Why is the police officer heavily armed? That's why we need to defund the police. Because crap like this happens. This is one of the smallest cross-level elevators I've seen. The big ones can carry up to 100 people at a time and they go way fast. I've never been inside one, of course. Hold it! You're not taking this elevator. Why? Because you're not carrying proper identification. Didn't you know that's a corporate offense in Newport? In Venice, you don't have to. I see. Venice. I should have known. Step back or I'll be forced to take you down with extreme prejudice. It seems incredibly unnecessary. What's up with the cops in this city? I'm sorry? I mean, when you arrest people, you read them their rights, and then you sell them products. It's all part of the job, miss. The police department is a subdivision of the Bokemba Mercer Company and the Bingo Corporation. They pay our bills. Doesn't that constitute a conflict of interest? Not if we don't arrest any employees of either company. That makes so not sense. Hmm. Does when you're faced with the prospect of getting the boot, miss. I have kids. And I'd like to see them through college. How do I get permission to go through? Only citizens of mid-level status or above are allowed to use these elevators. I guess you're new to this city or you'd know that. Uh, yeah. Fresh from the countryside. You do look like a farm girl, it's true. Hey, watch it! <laughs> How do you get mid-level status? Birth, money, marriage. Schmucks like you and me, miss. <laughs> We're stuck here. Speak for yourself, schmuck. Thanks, officer. We're here to protect, serve, and to inform you of the fantastic range of products offered by Bokemba Mercer and Bingo, manufacturers of the world's favorite soft drinks and handguns. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Any dang way, that's not where we're going. Um, subway. What is this exit over here? East Gateway, there we go. Hell yeah, I want my Pepsi brand 357 revolver. This guy's the reason they invented the phrase hitting the bottle. And he's hitting it hard. Well, at least he's not doing anything. I think he's selling something. Counterfeit. Triple strength raptures, probably. Highly addictive and guaranteed to blow your mind. Literally. They did not need to go that hard with the cops, but they did. <laughs> to some sort of effect. Popular place. Not my crowd, though. Subway, the Metro Circle, down the street. It's a liquor store. Good talk. Um, oh, this looks like it might be the uh, the theater that we're uh, looking for. O parking. Good to know. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's that's just rude. Surely there's a better descriptor than just fat guy. This guy looks like he works at the theater. The theater employee, that's, uh, that's something. Excuse me. Yes, huh?
Oh, jeez. Hold on there one second, lady. Dang, Marquis! Light up! Good. Now stay that way, you hear? Do you work at the theater? Yes, um, I'm Freddie. Freddie Mellon. My mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, she owns the theater. Yep, I reckon she does, uh-huh. She owns it, and she be running it by her own self, like a, a real proprietor. I reckon I help out some, of course, yep. And what do you do, sir? I'm the usher. And I also takes care of sweeping and cleaning up after the show. My mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, she says she reckon I'm a regular jack of all trades. I tell you what, I think she's right about that, uh huh. Oh, so I had that talking speed there, speed racer. Up to 50%. Is the theater open now? No, I reckon it ain't, lady. It don't open till this evening. Ain't nobody in there either. I reckon that wouldn't be legal. I mean, that I kind of believe that, considering we seem to be living in uh, some sort of dystopian state. Do you know a man called Cortez? No. I can't say as I does, lady. I ain't never met him. Now, I reckon I'd like to get on with my sweeping, uh-huh. But I'm supposed to meet him here. Are you sure you don't know him? Look, lady. I reckon you you should just mind your own bee's knees and get. I told you, I ain't seen Cortez today. You said you didn't know Cortez. I, I reckon I don't know nobody by that name, so, so i tell you what. I'd mighty appreciate it if, if you'd stop bothering me and let me get on with my work. Jesus, Mary, and baby Joseph, I reckon the whole dang world is, wants to find Cortez today. Thanks, anyway. Yes, yeah, some. I'll tell you what. You go on now and let Freddie Mellon do his sweeping before his mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, get all P.I.S.T. off. That was a conversation we just had. Just trash. Yep, that's a good, that's a good descriptor of, uh, what that is. Lady, don't you keep playing with that thing now, you hear? Leave it be. The hell is this? Green ooze. <laughs> the excuse me is spelled P-Y-S-T. Not P I S T or M Y S T. <laughs> so we're just gonna touch the U's, are we? And sniff it. Okay. It smells like kerosene. Well, at least we've established that it's apparently kerosene. That's the secret of the use, everyone. It's kerosene. What about this fuse box? It's oh, a fuse user. box. You give your There's something wrong with the power in that box, and it looks like the theater marquee is connected to the same switch. It keeps flickering on and off. Hey, keep your hands to yourself. That city property, ma'am. And you are 
her. That guy's so conspicuous, he's gotta be a cop on a stakeout assignment. Hi there, having fun? Didn't your mother teach you not to talk to strangers? Um... I'm an orphan. <laughs> yeah? Well, all the more reason for you not to talk to strangers. Now get lost! Don't you get tired of hanging around here all day long? No, ma'am. So you're completely fine. There's nothing you'd want. That's right. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. Nothing at Not all? Not even a bite to eat? Just had a full lunch, ma'am. Thanks for asking. So you just had lunch? That's right. At Cool Cow. What did you have? A triple whammy cow patty with a side order of grease onions and a large bingo cola. No ice. What about fries? And a double order of cheese and fried taters, yeah. Tastiest damn fries you're ever likely to find. Soaking in melted goat cheese. And you had this... when? Oh, about an hour ago. And you don't feel, um, the urge to go? No, ma'am, no. My bowels are genetically enhanced and require only perfunctory attention. Uh, okay. The burger filled you up good? You don't have the munchies? Well, now you mention it, I have a craving for sweets. I didn't have time for my usual cool cow strawberry pie with whipped cream chocolate sauce and a scoop of ice cream. Wait a second. What am I telling you all this for? Who the hell are you anyway? Hey, get out of here, ma'am. Right this minute or else... Is this a threat? I think that was a threat. A very serious one, ma'am. Yeah, super Hello serious. Hello again. Christ, don't you ever quit. What is it now? Are you on the job? On the job? What do you mean, on the job? You know, an assignment, stakeout, undercover operation. I suggest you get the hell out of here now, ma'am, before things get ugly. Was that a threat? Yes, I am. Yeah, threat, threat, threat. Hello again. Christ, don't you... Why are you dressed like a cop? What do you mean, why am I dressed like a... Hey, wait a second, what's it to you? Just trying to do my bit for the boys in blue, sir. You look like a cop. So, if you're on a stakeout or something, you should try to blend in a little more. Go native! Yeah, how? I don't know. But that trench coat... It sort of gives it away. Perhaps a pair of blue jeans and one of those I'm with stupid t-shirts might help. Hold on. Let me get this down right. Hey, wait a second. What am I doing? Who the hell do you think you are? The NPD fashion consultant? Is that supposed to be funny, ma'am? Are you a comedian or something? Because I'm not laughing. I'm not even smiling, am I? Now get your ass out of here and don't bother me again. Is that a threat? Damn right it's a threat. He sure likes to threaten, doesn't he? Anyway. That was fun. Hassling the, uh, the undercover cop. Here's the second-rate Joe Pesci. That door leads back into what looks like an alleyway behind the theater. It's locked. Damn. Anyway, um... Yeah, Freddie Mellon, cool. The box office is closed. A Welsh ghost story, written and directed by Ragnar Tornquist. I saw that. It's a classic. Ragnar Tornquist, which is, uh, the guy who made this game. That's the joke. Women in dire need of medical attention. I thought that was a porno, but I guess it's just an artsy foreign flick. As long as they speak French, it, it can't be smut. Really? Like, what 
justification do you have for that? I have noticed there is a notice. Bergman Festival at the Mercury Theater opens August 1st, 2209. That's on Tuesday. Sounds interesting. Maybe I'll go. Mercury. They left out the theater bit, but maybe that's self-explanatory. Casablanca. That's with John Wayne and Catherine Hepburn, I think. They play a married couple who adopt a baby leopard during World War II. It's a timeless classic. Wait, what? <laughs> I, I don't know that that's the thing that happens in, in that movie, but then again, I've never watched Casablanca. The Maltese Falcon. Oh, yeah! I remember this one. It's a Disney cartoon with a falcon who, um, goes looking for a black cauldron. It, it's got singing mice in it, I think. I mean... Don't they all? Okay, that's definitely incorrect. Marama. Okay, so I feel like what we need to do is find this cool cow place. Sounds like a famous scene from Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah, that's definitely not it. Mm, oh boy. I'll just go straight to the subway. And this, uh, this MIDI music. Popular place. Not my crowd, though. I think he's selling something. Counterfeit. Triple strength raptures, probably. Highly addictive and guaranteed to blow your mind. Literally. Your head explode. Hello again. Christ, don't you ever quit. What was it you wanted again? Something sweet and chewable to drown the bitter taste of boredom, ma'am. Now scram. Something sweet and chewable. I mean, the only edible thing that we have is this bread. And the detective is not interested. Also can't use it on the use or the fuse box. Hey Freddy, want some bread? It's a picture of Charlie, Emma, and me in Florence Park. Marcus took it about a month ago before it got real hot. Now we're gonna have to start using these items eventually, right? Now. Oh, hey, well, what if we were to use this on that now? Hmm. Oh, light him on fire. Come on, baby, light my fire.
Yes, putting fire into open kerosene is a good idea. Listen, this is an adventure game. Anything is a good idea if it does something. Unless it kills you. And this doesn't seem like the game that can't, that kills you all the time. Look at this photograph. Put that in the use. Yes, I, I know that you guys will offer me hints. I, I'm well aware of this. Uh, look at this graph. Hey, Freddy. Hi. What can I do for you, Mia? Thanks, anyway. Yeah, some. Yeah, the, this game needs some better checking to see, like, is there anything you can actually do with this person? <laughs> Ask if he has a box of chocolates. You gotta be careful with those. You never know what you're gonna get. Hey dealer, you want some of this bread? Let's get that bread. Um, will make me threaten you with this push pin. This guy's the reason they invented the phrase hitting the bottle. And he's hitting it hard. Well, at least. Stick it to you. Try to commit violence with the bush bin. I'm not particularly hungry. That's just gonna put me straight on the train. Yep, sure is. Oh, but look at that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought, like, that gives me a new location. Except no, it just puts me right back here. Alright, I think in the interest of keeping this game going and me not having to rub everything on everything, um, let's, get, let's get a step in the right direction here. And it, just to avoid um, both Foos and Zero, oh geez, I should probably get out of the traffic here. Just to avoid Foos and Zero, both, um, you know, jumping to help. I'm going to keep things generally to Foos if they're in chat. If not, then Zero, you can help out. Mostly because Foos, you, you requested this. Maybe an item you have not picked up yet. I mean, is it or is it not? Like, you don't have to say that you don't have to say what item it is or where it is, just 
It is an item that I haven't picked up yet. Okay. There's only one other place where I could go to pick up items, and that's over here. It's a plaque commemorating the Venice Massacre of 2109. Uh huh. Actually, um... I guess I'm just gonna have to take the financial hit of actually picking up a candy thing. I'm sure those are like five dollars a pop. I'm sure Stan won't notice if I dig gently into his supply. He's got crates of these in the back. Don't tell anyone, Charlie, okay? I guess I could have done that earlier, but like... At, at that point, I um, didn't have any money, so I wasn't going to do the thing. Here, have a dumb dumb pop. Dramatic fade out, then hard cut to inside the train. Would you like a candy? Hey, yeah, that'll hit the spot. Don't you litter my floor, mister. You want one too? I want one. Oh, God, it's awful. It tastes like mouthwash. <laughs> oh, goody. Sticky candy. All right, so that was necessary to do. Hello again. Christ. What was it? You Something. Yeah, I just, I just gave you that. Care for another? Hey, sure, forget about it. Don't you litter my floor, mister. Care for another? Hey. Okay, so we can just do this forever, I guess. Don't you? Good talk. Not as long as that detective's hanging around. Forget about it. Uh. Okay, well, I did that. Hello? Christ. What was it? Something. Something. 
something chewy. Surely you don't mean this. No. That would have just been gross. Okay, well we did that, and now we can just give him hard candies forever, but that hasn't changed anything. Hi. What can I- Thanks. Yes. Here, buddy. <laughs> Let me feed you some kerosene. Care for another? Hey, sure, forget about it. Yeah, skipping text, but also skipping like these little actions here. What the hell? The taste sickening. I feel kinda Christ. Uh-oh. Hey, what... What the hell do you think you're doing? Did you just throw a rock at my head? Now, I tell you what. You shouldn't have done that. I reckon that was a bad mistake. Later, nerds. <laughs> you should have seen him run, lady. I reckon I ain't never seen nobody run that fast. And he was clutching at his buttocks like he had the runs or something. <laughs> he, he even lost his stupid old hat in the gutter. <laughs> I ain't never seen anything that funny in a while. Yeah, I'm sure that hat thing is going to be important if it was mentioned. It's some kind of keyhole. Well, I got a thing for that. No, I don't got a thing for that. Um... What happens if I try to eat another one? Ah, uh -uh, they're awful! Yeah, I figured. It's like you did the thing that you needed to do, so you can't do it again. Um, probably not. Bag it. No. It's some kind of keyhole. Caution. Is that like a general caution, as in life caution? Life should carry a big yellow caution sticker. It's certain to kill you sooner or later. Did it? A zigzag lightning bolt. I just love that word zigzag. Hmm. Well, surely this is not going to work. Can I use this on something? What if I use this on itself to get a match? No. Huh. 
Where is that hat? Oh, there it is. Well, let's get out of traffic. It's that detective guy's hat. Yeah. Unless you're referring to this entire place as a gutter, which, you know. Okay, so we have a hat now. Hey, Freddie Mercury, you want this hat? No. I have a hat. Surely that is the answer to this puzzle. Come on, show me. Hat key. No. Actually, what if I try to use the push pin on, not on April, on the door? No. It's locked. Uh -huh. Ah. So I have a hat now. What do I do with hat? Hey, Delio, you want a hat? You? If I try to give it to the cop. Hello, Mr. Policeman, sir. I have the hat of your fallen compatriot. No, I cannot put on the hat. Hello, sir. Would you like a hat? <laughs> I don't know why I'm offering this hat to like every person I see. From Chimpan A to Chimpanzee. This game is making a monkey out of me. Need model to pose nude for serious work. P.S. Only looking for young and beautiful. It used to be chicks, then he crossed it out and wrote women. That's smooth, man. <laughs> Film equipment for sale. Oh, Antique stuff here. 16 millimeter camera, projector, tripod, lenses. All for just... Holy cow! $8,000? Who has 8,000 bucks to spend on an old camera? Wait a second. This was posted by Zach. Oh, so it's definitely overpriced then. That guy would do anything to make money. Anything. I don't doubt it. Actresses wanted for snuff movie parody. Meet Pardon? up at Dock 12, Newport Harbor, Saturday at midnight, and keep quiet about it. If I was the suspicious type, I'd think this was kind of fishy. Uh-huh. It's the official VAVA notice board. Okay.
The fruits of my labor amount to absolutely nothing at all. I'm way past finger painting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's the thing. If you want to. I wonder if I can paint some more. Not today. Okay then. Let's put it back. Of course we're not gonna put it back. We've picked it up now. The only way that we would put it back is It's Emma's contribution to the it. exhibition. I have no idea what it is, and neither apparently does she. But it looks absolutely beautiful. I'll just leave my brush and easel here before I go. Oh, there you go. Ain't no leaving with it. Um, all right, Foose, let's, uh, let's get me on the right direction here. What's, uh, what's next? This is the hardest puzzle in the game. Okay. I guess, I guess this is the one you were warning me about. Well, I can, I figure we can get this one out of the way and then we can probably start wrapping things up. over there to get the thing for the stuff. Yo, you got the stuff. I need some of that amethyst. Check the canal in front of your flat. Thingy. Rust is the very definition of Venetian architecture. Think of San Francisco without the hills, Paris without the cafes, Venice wouldn't be the same without the rust. It would be better, but not the same. <laughs> Does this machine have something to do with it? I guess that's a pressure gauge. It's at 100. That's percent, I guess. 100% pressure? Because I did look through the window at the start of the game and saw the, um, saw the, the rubber duck. It won't budge. The pressure's probably too high. What a mystifying contraption and completely absurd. What are all these valves and wheels and thingamajigs for? What grand purpose does it all serve? Oh, it seems the clamp served a purpose after all. Hm, what a surprise. The clamp's keeping the hose closed, so it won't leak. Mystifying. The water tank's full. Mystifying. Mm, mystifying indeed. The 
cables are too far apart to tie them back together. Looks like a big piece of cable was torn off. Now. Okay, well first let's uh the bread. No, the bread isn't doing anything. Of course, you know, you probably at least know part of the answer of what this is. Oh yes, we have seen this. There's this rubber ducky. It's a rubber ducky, helplessly trapped under that rusty old grill. It's a rusty old grill, kept afloat by a rubber ducky. The circle of life. Oh, we can take this? Or we can interact with it anyway. Okay, well, that happened. It's a clothesline. It's not a very effective clothesline anymore. Spiky. The spikes are spiky. Okay. I don't know what that chain's for, but it's connected to some kind of mechanism at the bottom of the canal. I still haven't figured out what runs through the canals in Venice, but I'm sure it can't be water. It's probably bingo cola or whatever. Whatever those the hell. pipes are spewing out, I know one thing for sure, it ain't water. Turns out it's slurm. It's a seagull. The poor guy looks quite hungry. Hungry, you say? A bird is hungry somewhere? No? Okay. Hey, you want a candy? Five, five to find, three are one, one gives access to the bladed sun. Now, I don't think this is Shadowgate. I have bread, and there's a bird. I can't appear to offer the bread to the bird. A bird, you want a hat? Okay, so throwing the clothesline into the river was a... a Yo, bird, eat this. Forget about it. Yeah, throwing the clothesline into the river was probably what I needed to do because this doesn't seem like the type of game that would make me do something and then I lose forever. Jingle, jingle. Uh... Can you touch the clothesline from the ground floor now? I don't know, can I? These animations, man, they take a minute. Yeah, I think that might be a different side of the building, too.
That doesn't change the pressure, the pressure gauge at all. It's a rusty old wheel. I'd imagine it turns the water on and off. It won't budge. The pressure's probably too high. All right, I have no idea. Let's masterfully throw this push pin at this cable and attach it now. <laughs> Pressure is too high and so is the rent. And the right track with a bread in the window. Okay. Mystifying. Cool. You can close the window. You probably need it open in order to do anything outside. Okay, but like, how do I give the bird the bread? I mean, the clothesline's in the water at this point, but I, I tried to... I'm not particularly hungry. Yeah, I've... Oh. I'm just looking for that very specific interaction sometimes. Okay, so now I have a clothesline. Presumably, I can use this on the pipe something <laughs> you win some bread there's something in your inventory in it. Surely not the ring, right? I hope it doesn't melt oh. or anything. Yeah, it is. It's alive! Ah. 
Aha. Nope, that's still. It won't budge. The pressure's probably too high. Yeah, I knew that once uh, once I had them synchronized, like have them all in the same uh, alignment, basically, that I could just go left, right, left, right, left, right until they're all lined up. Okay, so I did that. Mystifying. Yep, definitely mystifying. Just as mystifying as someone using the laundry room at 1 a.m. It's at 100. The water tank's full. The duck went somewhere. You should find it. Oh, hey. I know that duck. Bon voyage, ducky! It's going. There we go. Oh, it went somewhere. Found it. Didn't look like it went this way, but uh, it sure did. Aw. Looks like it got popped. That's unfortunate. The duck's deflated. Yeah, so am I. Inflated band aid? I don't think the band aid is inflated. Ducks inflated. Not for long, it ain't. Are you authorized to use this trademark? That's just gonna keep deflating until it's done, isn't it? There it goes. Okay, so that is a thing that happened. Now what? It's a pretty mural. It's a pretty. It's a pretty mural. It, it sure is a pretty mural. Can you please move, April? Probably this, too high. This one? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, we have a clamp now. Oops. We have a clamp! 
It's a clamp. Clamp, clamp, kabam. It's a clamp. It sure is. It's a clamp. It's a clamp. It's a, it's a clamp. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a clamp. It's a clamp. Good talk. I don't know why it gave us that uh, close view of it, though. I'm not leaving my gold ring. Somebody's going to have to replace that cable eventually. Make sure to not forget that. Mystifying. Here comes the dumbest leap of logic in the universe. Uh, I'm starting to think that I should play a Lost in Time at some point. That has some pretty weird leaps at some points. Now that you're carrying around everything but the kitchen sink, where would you find an electrical box key? I got the clamp. Give me the box key. Stick him up. I believe I would find an electrical box key inside the electrical box somehow. This is probably not the solution. No. Hands in the F, Freddy! This is a clamp down! Ah. Hey, I'm a rubber ducky. Got a boo boo. Um, where would I find an electrical box key? I Thank said, you. leave it be. We've pretty much done everything we can with that trash can. Just trash. The trash can is just trash. Um, considering that we're at uh, stopping time, <clears throat> let's let's get this puzzle properly finished. So where where do we find the key? Find it at Subub E Freef. So, when you say subway, do you mean on the train or do you mean in the subway on the platform? Okay, these fans. Turn right around. Thank 
there's a high voltage cable running parallel with the rail, and something's gotten stuck between them. I Looks see. like a large iron key. Yeah, I tried to interact with those before, but I wasn't authorized, so it just turned me around and I forgot about it is what happened. I can't reach down far enough. Hmm. Am I ready? Probably not, but uh Let's uh let's let's do this. Oh, um... The duck's wait. inflated. Is it? I don't think it is, game. The duck's inflated. Yeah, this is not working. Okay. Okay. Oh, hang on. When I was a wee lass, I tried fishing what? a couple of times in the pond behind my house, but I never caught anything. I hope my luck's improved. Pretty cool catch. I think we're done. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> that was a dumb puzzle. <laughs> Usually I show this uh, this shutdown screen as a joke, but as it turns out, we kind of gotta get this uh, this stream closed up anyway. So we may as well just do it now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! That sure was a puzzle. So anyway, <laughs> smiles gone. Uh, thanks to everyone for hanging out. Uh, thanks to Alexander, Zero, uh, Ricky, J-Pop, Jewel, Tyrion, Foos. Wow, seven uh, unique people chatting today. Thank you for the bits, Zero, which actually showed up on the overlay this time, and also for the resub. Uh, so yeah, the next scheduled stream is going to be on uh, Sunday at 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Sunday Super Shell 4. We're going to do some more Archipelago shenanigans. Will the new version of Archipelago be available? I don't know. We'll find out. And that takes us around the week, round the wheel, to our next uh, long run stream next Tuesday at 9 p.m. We're going to continue our run of the longest journey and hopefully not have to put, to put up with bullcrap like that. <laughs> Thank you for the help, though, Foos. I... Never would have figured that out, let's be real. So, 
Um, that's going to do it for today. Thank you all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.